Steve legend around these parts and an absolute homie. Had an amazing performance at MomoCon, so glad to see him be able to compete again on the stage here in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is with, especially here with Didi, if you feel that, or no, is it, it's just D? Huh? Is it DD or D? DD. Okay, okay. I'm just double checking. But yeah, just the thing D. is. Like, what the heck? Well, no, because. DD. The, There's yeah, two yeah. Ds. I know. You got it, man. Is it I'm just sorry. E? If you see two E's there, <laughs> is it just E? I'm just asking, Trent. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, but DD is out here, one of the strongest players here in Georgia. And even before the Steve was making waves with the Pokemon trainer. Yes, yes, yes. We and has actually. <laughs> has actually exposed many Steve players yes. with the Pokemon Trainer that Ivysaur are going to be so good against Steve. Um, we'll see what Didi uses here for this matchup. Man's wrote a whole breakdown on how to take down the character. Y'all just got to read it. Yep. Very knowledgeable of the game here. Sean, of course, on the Falcon, previously known as Cashmere. There are so many good Falcons in the building, man. We got Fatality. We got Lol Yoshi. We got Sean. It's nuts out here. Yeah. Yeah, and, and this is, again, top 16 qualifier. This is the top of the crop here on the winner side of things. So we'll see. I mean, against Falcon, I'm assuming DD is going to bring out the Steve, but I would not be surprised if the trainer comes out as well. You never know. He's got some options. We'll see who he elects to go with first. Either way, though, you don't want to take any games off against Sean, man. This kid is electric as they come. Yeah, I believe the last time we were here in Atlanta, it was for Momocon, yeah. and uh, Didi made quite the run into the top Didi eight. Didi had hills. that crowd going stupid, bro. Oh, yeah, that I remember crowd the top eight qualifier. Stupid. The top eight qualifier, you had to show them the moves. I'm telling you. What? All right, yeah, so it's going to be Steve I love the tag. and Falcon. Let's go. I love the tag. Shout out to the tag, Salt 2. If you didn't know, Salt 1 previously, or now known as Cola. There you go. Back in the day, but here we go. You got to have some uh, Georgia lore, you know well, what I'm saying? Of course. Very important. Oh, oh okay, Sean. All right, hold on now. Hold on, man. <laughs> we just started. I'm saying, man, he just started building blocks. You're coming through, tearing them down. <laughs> okay, the tech chase here. Now, Sean, notorious for traveling all over the U.S. and freeing up a lot of different local scenes. I'm not going to say all of them because one of them is my own region. But. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a fall from grace. Good old SoCal. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We got Karama. Oh, hey, now, that's NorCal. You know, we, yeah. I, I, SoCal and NorCal talked with each other, and now we're uniting as well. Oh, now you're trying to claim yeah, it. That's like are... how MDVA was riding the coattails of, what, <laughs> VA. <laughs> we're, we're California now. We got Karama uh, got and you. Luis, okay. right? Well, we got the first stock going the way of Sean. He is Ooh. absolutely <laughs> putting on a clinic. Wait, Blockman what? is getting dissected right before our very eyes. Yeah, and I mean, this, this is really surprising here, Sean. Definitely showing that he knows the matchup here. Now, even though this is looking uh, quite bad for DD, the back air yeah. is going to connect. And That's honestly, how not taking too much. Yeah, 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 exactly. Now, I mean, both of these characters, incredible combo game. Sure. <laughs> so we'll see if uh, DD can bring that onto the table here. Hasn't really had the opportunity to connect too many uh, up tilts here. That's going to be the main combo starter. Just as I say, it does connect here 39%. Okay. All right, okay, spike to back land down. Oh, tries to get the dash back pickup, but a little too high on that launch there. Getting some blocks, gonna get some mining here. He's running right through. I love the mix-up. Oh. oh, nice. All right. Okay, yeah, and that's wow. gonna finish it off. Mm. Getting it done with the iron weapon as well. Now got the gold on deck here. Tries to get the pivot grab. And stay in the corner here, the crafting table. Wow. Oh, nice catch with the back air. It's gonna do it, okay. Minecart not gonna keep you safe. Back and forth here. DD getting an opening. Gets the extension all the way up. 68 damage. DD knowing these combo rocks tries to get the four tilt into the fair spike. Oh. oh my goodness, man. Sean is taking so much damage at this point. Yeah, a ton actually. 102 in those triple digits. Let's see, DD, okay. Taking a higher route. Oh, DD, please find the ground. Yeah, yeah, Smart stuff, not yeah. the panic and air dodge, though. Love yeah. that. Yeah. You don't want to give Falcon any free air dodges. You got a lot of options to see. Going to go ahead and use the block, resort, or reset those uh, resources here. Sean getting the forward throw, going up and over. Oh my god! I thought the forward smash or down smash was coming out from Sean, but just the forward tilt getting a little bit of damage. Didi running out of resources right now. Oh the parry into the turnaround up smash. Didi Woo! 
going to go ahead and take that game number one. And Heck of a game one on both sides. That pair, you saw Didi just popping off a little bit like, okay, whoo, snuck that one out because it was a rough start. That knee was impactful to get that first stock off. And let me remind you, there was no diamond that game. None. Not a single diamond. Usually, Steve players will go from an iron weapon into the diamond weapon, save the gold for the empowered minecart there. But what did Sean do? Sean kept the pressure on and didn't let DD mine. DD also a little bit more on the aggressive side as well when it comes to Steve's. But when you're keeping the pressure on like that, when you force Steve to craft the gold, then you don't have to deal with the really fast minecart, right? Big truth. Big proof on that. All right, let's switch it off to the Enderman. Let's see what stage we're gonna be here. Okay, it looks like Battlefield is the pick here. We're gonna have those combo extensions coming out for both characters here. But this time Falcon gets a little bit more because you know Falcon can't make his own platform, oh, so <laughs> need a little help from the stage creation. <laughs> Let's get the down air there, not gonna connect. But again, Sean with a very strong opening. We saw that from game number one as well, right? But Didi making the correct adjustments and was able Ooh. to get that game number one. Yeah, that up smash, very powerful too, and has very little end lag as well. So you're gonna be seeing Sean kind of throw that out willy-nilly, if yeah. you will, and uh, not like super oh, safe, but my oh goodness. my goodness. You thought you had that long ledge grab. Nah, son, don't hang out there too long. Yeah. Sean, yet again, big time first stock taken. Let's see. Oh, sour hit of bear. Oh, are you gonna go for it again? Tries to get the reverse sour hit of need to set up something. The down smash, the roll is gonna get through on both sides here. Okay, the anvil gonna break some of this pressure up. On absolutely feeling it right now. Oh, the footstool. Oh, I tried to get the double footstool. Oh, that would have been nasty. That would have been disrespectful to say the least, but having none of it. Oh, Sean, wow, he is big time reaching. Goes for the back air. No, not quite there, but still the pressure maintained. I love how aggressive Sean is. He's off a demon, stage. bro. He's yeah. a demon off stage. Especially with the lack of gold, that minecart's not going to take you too far, right? Okay, just going to go ahead, roll, get to the center stage here. Yeah, and you see so much time, Didi is just trying to get this stock. Doesn't have too much time to mine, and there is the upbeat. And Sean really taking control of this Ooh, game number okay, two. Okay, Sean. We're not catching this man off guard at all. Okay, trying to get the grab here. Jab, another grab. So many things whipping here for Didi, and Sean is there with the punish, what seems like every single time. Wow, back here across the stage will do the trick, though. Didi finally evening up the socks here. Yeah, getting some time to mine a little bit as well. Oh, Sean going super low. Oh, There's no Sean. jump. There's no jump. Sean. Up and over. Oh, oh, my Lord. This is so close. Man, Sean almost lost stock. At he really did. I was like, I don't do that. Okay, Didi just going to take some time here on the ledge. Nice. Man, good catch. Good catch. Going to get punished. Sean with the hops and again forcing Didi to force or to craft the gold. Yeah. And because the gold is crafted, those minecarts are going to look a little bit slower here for the rest of the game. You no, know, Didi plays pretty hyper aggressive with Steve and maybe to his own detriment here against Sean. But I will say the gold weapon. Oh, I love that. Using the this directional air dodge. Yeah, just kind of curved through. That was nasty. Okay, okay, Sean, I see you. Yeah. You, you know the matchup. Air dodging into the blocks and then the blocks just like canceling the, the lag from there just because it breaks because you land on top of it. So smart. So of course the gold weapon is still very strong, very fast, but the durability, as you can see, not gonna be as uh, long lasting, but there is the second gold here for DD. Oh, okay, Falcon Kick yep. getting yoked up and then off the top we go. Okay, so DD. Finally, there's the first diamond. Yeah, I was going to say, plenty of resources to make this comeback a reality. Let's see if Sean can. Oh, no. It's going to be a regrab nonetheless, yeah. even if you're able to make it back. Are which you able to? You're almost, not. Almost. No, that's tough. The fact that Didi almost made it back when you're in the, the bottom bubble is actually crazy. Uh, if you hit certain angles with that up B on Steve, you can get really, really great height with that. The, the price of copping that diamond. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, Sean doing an incredible job. I don't think Sean is at the fight against Diamond Steve at all this set. Nah. Uh, Didi was able to craft it, but off the Angel platform, Sean was able to create the situation that won him that set, the, won him the second game there. But to be fair, Didi not necessarily needing the Diamond to succeed. Didi did not craft a single Diamond at all in game number one and was able to take game number one. So back and forth between both of these competitors here. Mm -hmm. 
My man Sean. Remember that? Old, remember his old tag? Cashmere. Cashmere. There it is. Cash money mirror. Yeah, that's what he's all about, baby. Cash in and got that game number two. Let's see what we got for the third. Okay, sticking with the uh, the Enderman here. <laughs> Didi making himself laugh. <laughs> he's teasing the Kazi. <laughs> Stick to Steve, kid. <laughs> Yeah, big fan of the Steven. I mean, who knows? We could see the trainer come yeah, out. You never as well. know. I mean, it is, you know, I feel like yeah, depending on how this next game goes, could help determine that. But either way, going up against one of the best Falcons to ever do uh -oh. it. The down tilt, yeah, there's no double jump. Tries to go for the drop zone fair. Did he just barely off the mark there? And you can kind of see the lack of mobility on Steve's side. It's kind of being a thorn on his side yeah. there. Uh, Steve, obviously Ooh. a very powerful character, but your base stats are not too quick. You you rely on a lot of your specials for that mobility. Okay, Went right through the anvil there. Oh, the knee Almost. barely. Yep. Not connecting up tilt back air. Gonna get the trap. No, DD barely missing that up air. Grabbing onto ledge, avoiding the Falcon kick. Mm. Okay, barely avoiding. Sean going for a lot of these Falcon kicks out of the corner here. And we already saw DD win a game off of that, right? To parry into the up smash yes. in that game number one. So we'll see if Sean is a little bit more careful with that. Oh, wow. out of Vasco's anvils, too. Dang, it's a powerful kick. That's what I'm saying. Oh, all right, Minecraft, though, pulling his way through. Nice, good catch. Not letting him touch the ground. Oh, look at the angle on that up. He doesn't matter. Is able to force the air dodge, and Didi getting the back air to seal it out and getting the lead here. Gets a big up tilt opener. Oh, tries to pull out the block to get the extension, but doesn't land on top of it. Oh, gets an air one, but doesn't finish the combo. 157 here on the Steve. Jab does not connect, and now DD back to center stage. You're gonna mine, gonna get these mine carts set up. Oh, Ooh. nice, yeah. Can't just build pick blocks the out there. Let's pick them out the sky. All right, so Sean getting uh, getting the edge guard there, and we know Sean's not too shy to go for these edge guards, right? Very confident in the ability to edge guard. Steve oh. almost gets the down air there, but Didi with an incredible angle going up and over. Goes for the forward air, doesn't get the spike though, the down tilt. Great saw coming out from Sean. Oh my goodness, yeah. Come yeah. on, Sean. No gold Definitely on feeling the pressure right now. He had a big TNT explosion. Gonna give Didi a sizable lead right now. What have you got, Sean? Leading that response immediately. The anvil just being Chilling. a trap up there. Yep. Hey, Didi trying to get some kind of combo starter, especially against these fast fallers. You get that jab, you get that forward tilt, up tilt or up air. It's going to lead into a bunch of damage. Falcon Kick does connect, but not the sweet spot. Tries to line up an edge guard here, but Didi with the swift recovery and the singular block here to kind of stop, halt some of this mobility mm -hmm. coming out from Falcon, right? Yeah, look at look at the inventory as well. A lot of stone, and stone just going to be a lot harder to break than the uh, the dirt blocks. So Didi looking very confident here. Tries to get the up tilt extension off the forward air spike. Jab still not going to do the trick. Crafting table off the board here. Oh, okay. is Ooh, it? No, wow. still we survived. The dash tag not enough to get the job done. But well, at long last, yeah, four, <laughs> yeah. That's definitely got enough oomph behind it. 97 for Sean, trying to land safely. Scouted and covered, though, by DD. What? Oh, wow, Did D. you see the slight drift back? Really? No Actually, way. the fact that he avoided that. Oh, and now no. is he going to take Did this he... game? Is he going to take this game? Oh, my God. Sean is absolutely built different, bro. And he nailed the freeze frame on the taunt. Damn. Wow, Sean going all the way, and I'm going to take it back to that slight drip back to avoid the anvil on At the edge guard. Certain doom. And then Sean gets one opening and makes it completely count the up air string into the up special. And you know what's crazy about that? If you catch Steve mashing anvil, you'll still get the grab and go off the top. I don't think DD was going for that, but just covered a bunch of options. And this is the Pokemon trainer we've been talking about. DD is going to pull it out here in game number four. Having to prompt the switch. Because of what? what happened in that game, I mean, what is hey, that? Honestly, if you're Sean, though, you might be a little, you might prefer this. All things depending, right? Didi, obviously, 
You can hear the crowd chanting, right? The Let's Go DD chance. Big yeah. crowd favorite here in his home turf in Atlanta. Oh, but there's Shark no Harris jump here. There's no jump. You got to switch to Charizard. Get the oh, power. Oh, Charizard! Get your wings all the way clipped. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Sean is feeling so comfortable. And you know what? Even though the crowd is cheering against Sean, I think Sean's used to it. He's he's invaded so many different That's regions. True. How many times has he had the crowd against him? He's a nomad, baby. He doesn't have a home. I mean, outside of his region of Florida. But besides that, <laughs> Charles, besides he's everywhere. That. Everywhere, including all over this stage right now, smothering Didi. Didi with a lot of this pressure. And again, so impressive on these recoveries. The slight drift back in the middle of the uppies. And even just being that confident in the Steve matchup, forcing Didi to switch off of Steve, there's not a lot of players on planet Earth that can do that. That's true. Ooh, the up tilt, not gonna connect here. Just the grab, great DI. Oh, and you already know Sean is a shark lurking in the water when off stage. He is uh, not shy on these edges. Not at all. Oh my goodness. Oh, the nair! I, I like that Man. good, easy pickup. Oh my goodness! Where, oh my. Okay, don't let it happen to you again. Okay, from across the stage, Charizard are able to be the aggressor. These lineups off stage are incredible. And Sean sometimes feels like he drew, goes so far back. I'm like, can you even make it back? And the up, he's barely snapping on here. And you're, you're just able to put so much pressure. Okay, I was able to clip on. We saw last time when you were, uh, or when Sean was able to force the switch to Charizard and was able to get that dunk. But look at Didi forcing these juggles here on Captain Falcon. That up air and down air from Ivysaur can be very efficient against this character. Look up for these back airs. Trying to line them up though. Didi doing a good job on the evasion. Oh, caught them slipping momentarily. Okay, double dash attack, that meaty hitbox. Not a very common option coming out from Ivysaur, but Didi making fantastic use of it, being very creative with this character here. Again, this was Didi's main before Steve came out. Ooh, maybe wanted to drop through with the Razor Leaf, but nonetheless, keeping this pressure on. There's a spot dodge. Look at that space drip away oh, up there. Oh, great catch on that. The pivot grab to punish. And Sean's really, he throws those out a lot, those Falcon kicks. And we've seen a couple times, got him punished with a stock loss. This Ivysaur is so clean coming out from Didi here. Look at that Nair, so much hits here on that shield. Okay, gonna go roll back here, another Nair, and the Didi chants are coming. They are erupting from the crowd right now. Didi definitely a hometown hero here at Atlanta, Georgia. 160% and not even a switch to the Zard. So confident on, on the Ivysaur. 100%. Still alive even after the dash attack. Okay. Woo, okay. This is what it all comes down to. Didi, can you get to game five? Keep okay. the run alive for the home crowd. Yeah, I was gonna on say the winner's side. It's like, whoa, man, you're really gonna rock the Zard here? You really are different. But the switch to the Squirtle, gonna get this quick 77% here. Staying on the Squirtle, the armor with that side special, but the Ivysaur has been swapped into here, catching the air dodge with the up smash. You gotta be really careful. Sean out here with the offense. Can't give this man an opening. Oh, all these trades in favor of Sean right now. Oh, Sean! Ooh. Oh, oh my God. I thought he was going to pull the trigger on the back. I thought he had it right there, Chuck. I thought it was done. Not opting for the up air, going for the back air. The down smash. You don't see that too often. Up he's trying to punish the down air on the platform. He's just so close. Oh, my God. Man, you can hear the crowd, too, man. They want to see it happen. Backside of the down smash gets it done. Sean, 3-1 over Didi. Wow, wow. What a set coming Different. out from both these players. Didi showing off not only a fantastic Steve Flair, but one of the best Pokemon trainers to do it. And I love the double jump neutral air dodge coming out from Didi, but that down smash covering multiple options and probably caught that left DI because Didi was drifting in, right? So because Didi was drifting to the left and got hit to the left, was able to lose that stock there. And Sean taking it 3-1. I definitely thought we were going to a game five. Another, I, I, I definitely wanted it as well. I kind of did, man. Yeah. But another crazy way to close out an absolute banger block that we got to, got to commentate, man. Love the fact that the crowd's so into it. Love the fact all the players just playing at a heightened level of just like mm, pure entertainment, which you obviously are going to find here. DreamHack Atlanta, baby. You already know. Panda Cup finale qualifier. Who yeah. wants it? Does Sean want it? Looking pretty good. I think a lot of players oh, out here want it, if cool. not all of them. And I really want to see Didi come through the loser's bracket. Such a fun player to watch. 
young up and coming talent, like you said, a prodigy in himself. So we'll see if DD can make that loser's run into the top eight.